Give me a kiss. Thank you. Come in one, come another one. Can I have another kiss? Yeah, I'm going to the spot, yeah. I'm not going anywhere, Kona. Yeah, we're done. We're done with the outside stuff. You can take a seat right there or right there. That's it. Right there. We're trying to do something. Yeah. Do you want to be on camera? We're or? trying to do something, Kona. Hey, mm -hmm. sit. Sit. Good girl. Cool. Good. Hey, Dad. All right, so... It's been about a week since you guys heard from us and we wanted to catch up with you guys, get you guys all up to speed on what happened since I got back to New York. In the previous video, you guys obviously saw me getting arrested in the video before that or videos before that. You saw Christy live and then Christy and myself live explaining what happened. If you haven't seen either of those videos, go back, catch up with them. I'm sure everybody that's watching this right now has seen those videos yeah. so we um after i got released from jail down in florida obviously we, we live streamed and all that stuff we drove back up to new york where we are right now at our yeah. house in new york um we drove back there a couple days after that live stream and i had to turn myself in a few days ago so i turned myself in to bergen county hackensack um i drove out to hackensack early in the morning and um got to the got well i was supposed to turn myself into the police station yeah what happened was i got to the police station i kind of sat around i was waiting for my lawyer my lawyer finally called me told me that the police station doesn't want me the bergen county or hackensack police station doesn't want me there so I guess it might have been because of the COVID thing. It was definitely because it had something to do with the COVID thing yeah. that was going on. So what had happened was they told me, told my lawyer to have me turn myself into Bergen County Jail. So that is where I met my lawyer in a in an abandoned bail bondsman's. <laughs> it's a abandoned bail bondsman's office parking lot. Um, so that's where I met my lawyer for the first time directly across the street from the Bergen County Jail. If you're familiar with Bergen County, um, I'm not very familiar with Bergen County. I kind of am, but I'm not really familiar with Bergen County. But if you know the Bergen County Jail, then you would know this abandoned place across the street. So anyhow, so I meet him there. I go and I turn myself in. So I'm in County Jail for about... Probably like nine and a half, ten hours, something like yeah. that. I wasn't in there very long. I turned myself in about 8.30 in the morning. I was out by about 6 o'clock at night while I was in there. Um, I mean, it wasn't really... Like, jail's not like really bad place. Kind of get along with everybody, so I don't really have a bad time anywhere. They didn't have me in the... They had me in population, but they didn't have me in the populated area due to the COVID thing, so they kind of had us... Uh, any any anybody that was like in receiving I guess you would say yeah. uh, That was there for the first 14 days of their stay or whatever it was um, They had to be quarantined. So I was just in a cell by myself for Probably up until about three o'clock in the afternoon yeah, when the judge, right? yeah, well no, well, that's that's when um yeah, I probably saw the judge about three o'clock in the afternoon. It was probably like yeah, like three, three thirty. Yeah, so I was alone. I was alone <laughs> up until about one thirty when I got a new inmate that came in from Rikers Island. If you know what Rikers Island is, it's the New York City County Jail. Um, I, I guess it's the county. I'm pretty I, sure it's the county jail for for the five borough area over there. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that, but uh, anyhow, he was transferred over to Bergen County Jail from Rikers Island. So that kind of made me a little bit worried. I didn't know, like, you know, with him coming in from... I haven't been really scared about the COVID thing since the very beginning of it, like the beginning weeks, once I kind of figured it all out. And especially once I spent four days in a county jail down in Florida yeah. after the arrest that you guys have already seen. Um, I was kind of good about it. I've been on my vitamins. I, I was getting ample sun while I was down in Florida. I've been on the bike and doing cool things like that. So. I've been up to speed with, with what's going on with the COVID, so I haven't been really concerned about it, but that kind of alarmed me a little bit because I'm in a you know, four by 10 cell yeah. with this dude that I don't know. But anyhow, he was just, 
He was, he was a cool guy. He was, our, he was all right. Frank. Frank. Yeah. He was all right. But um, he was nodding out and stuff like that throughout the time that we were there. We, you know, we were kind of chatting a little bit. And, you know, in the middle of our chats, he was kind of nodding out. He said he was on... Um, he said he was on methadone while 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 we were locked up in the cell together. So he came in there high, I guess. Um, so he was just kind of nodding out. So he wasn't really he didn't really bother me or anything like yeah. that. It just kind of bothered me that I had to be in there. But I was I had a face mask on the whole time, even though it probably doesn't do anything for you. I feel fine right now. Um, that's my whole in jail COVID thing. That was my that was my one worry about the whole thing. So about three thirty. Went and saw the judge and the assistant district attorney, which is another hard ass in this case. You're gonna get to find out all the whole cast of characters that's that's involved with this whole uh, thing that they're trying to wrap me up in. But the assistant district attorney in this case is the one that I had a video court hearing Conference, with. Yeah, yeah, while I was in the in the county jail, so I go in there and um you know uh you're you're on screen with these people so she wanted to give me a a ten thousand dollar bail which means i'd have to pay about a a thousand dollar bond which would be ten percent of that which is what the bond is but new jersey doesn't have a a bail or a bond system yeah, they, they just got rid of it like yeah, a couple years ago you get released on your own recognizance in that case so at that point they were trying to do something else that I guess could be construed as against the law. So my lawyer kind of fought back on that. They released me on my own recognizance. I mean, I didn't know that I was a fugitive, yeah. you know, I didn't know that I was a fugitive. It's pretty crazy to actually say that in terms of, you know, when the you have law. a warrant, you're, yeah. you're a fugitive, but like it makes it seem so much worse when yeah. you have fugitive involved in it. So <clears throat> anyhow, as soon as I was locked up, I, hired a lawyer the lawyer got in touch with the da who got in touch with everybody else and let everybody else know what was happening they dropped my warrant so i could drive from florida to new york i did that right away turned myself in on the day that we all agreed upon so they had to release me on my own recognizance i didn't yeah. i they can't prove that i did anything wrong in you're this not case. avoiding you know what yeah. I mean? i'm not i wasn't avoiding it yeah i wasn't running away from the warrant i i legitimately didn't find out and and i, 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 I actually at that point, while I was in the court, they, they were actually asking me what my address was. Now, I was telling them my address, and they had a different address. They had, like, apartment numbers. Yeah. And I live in a house. We live in a house. Yeah. We've, we don't live in apartments. So, I don't know where they were getting their information from. They had my name down as Rob, my legal name. It, it, so, there's a lot of different things that are going on here that I, I kind of have to piece together. At this point... Um, I'm the number one charge is burglar. It sounds like really bad, but they're trying to get me for, I guess, I, I guess I, 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 I'm not actually sure why, yeah. how, how they came to that conclusion along with a couple other like smaller, ridiculous charges. But like I explained to you guys, um, I, I have, I had to prove, as you guys saw, there's, there's things that I put out in last week's video that, that kind of prove and and the only investigation that was done the only investigation that was done that actually means anything at yeah, all yeah. uh was done by the actual navy association so the the navy i guess they 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 took control of this boat yeah and they were actually able to figure out as you saw in the last video what actually had happened to it in terms of that there wasn't vandalism done to it in that right. sense or anything like that and um and 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 it wasn't any of our wrongdoing at all um but you'll you'll find out about all yeah. that i'm gonna i'm gonna keep on piecing things together for you just so you guys have the peace of mind knowing that you're not backing a liar even though i know that you guys don't think that um yeah. you know i just i just want to keep you guys informed i want to keep you guys in the loop and keep giving you guys the actual proof you know, it, bit by bit here and there until I can actually compile everything together, which I'm yeah. doing right now. I, I've, I've already gotten a lot of stuff together so I can make this a nice full-fledged film for us all to watch and the guys, the way you guys would all expect yeah. that to be. So anyhow, after all that stuff in the jail cell, talking to the, you know, the lawyer and, um, you know, in, in, the, in the court appearance that I had inside of there, um, I, you know, they released me on an ROR. I had to sit inside the jail cell for a few more hours with the guy. So, it was um, only like, like two more hours after, cause I had yeah. gotten a call from the lawyer at like, four, I think it was five. 
Yeah, yeah I was out of there. I was out of there by six o'clock when yeah, you came to like pick 6:30, me up. Yeah, it was like six thirty, like closer to six thirty, I think. Are you waiting for Daddy to come out? You're being a patient little girl. Daddy's gonna be coming out of that building. The door in the corner. So Kona and I just got into Hackensack, New Jersey, where we will be picking up Rob from the Bergen County Jail. He had to turn himself in today, which I think is completely unnecessary and a waste of everybody's time, but it's a process that we have to go through, I guess. So hopefully he comes out soon. I've been waiting here for about maybe 20 minutes so far. Um, he should be out any minute now, but yeah. He's out. I thought I would spend the night in there for definite. For definite, I thought I was spending the night inside no, of that jail. we knew we were, you were gonna get to that. I didn't know because they weren't giving me phone calls. What happened was I went inside of there at about eight o'clock today and they didn't allow me any other phone calls except for the one I got to make to her to tell her that I had to go to county jail because that wasn't the original plan this morning. And the other thing is that I got locked in a cell because they're doing all the coronavirus stuff so you get like three hours in, in out of the cell and then the rest of the time you got to be locked inside of the cell which is fine but when i got inside of there it was already the three hours was up by the time they got me into population so mm -hmm. i had to sit inside of there for about three hours i fell asleep because i didn't sleep at all last night for that purpose so i could fall asleep inside of the jail but then i was woken up by somebody that came in there so I had a roommate for about five hours. I had a roommate and get this. It was cool because he wasn't really breathing that much because he was nodding out the whole entire time that I was inside of there with him. So shout out to Frankie. It wasn't too bad of an ordeal. Um, you know, it's way better than being in, in jail overnight, especially for four, four nights at that. So yeah. definitely better. I didn't have to eat anything from there, which I don't. I no, you I don't, gave, I don't want dinner. jail. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave my dinner to, to Frank. Frank who, <laughs> Um, he appreciated that, you know, yeah. I told him, you know, I, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get something to eat. I suggested that he give me a recommendation as to what I should go stop and eat. He suggested that I, I go get a Baconator. So that was the <laughs> first food that I had. So Frank, if you're watching this, I told him about the YouTube channel. I'm not sure he's too into YouTube. Um, but anyhow, I was, uh, we went to Wendy's. I, I was happy with that Baconator. Yeah. So that was a good call. <laughs> definitely. And, um, so yeah, so that, that's basically what's happened since then. Tomorrow I have a, a, a video court date. It's here at the house off my laptop. It's really, nothing's really going to happen until, until the courts open. Yeah, a, a, until the courts are back open and, and, and really at that, really nothing's going to happen. The only thing that's really going to happen is I'm going to be able to show you guys a lot more stuff as to what happened here. I mean, it's, it's really kind of ridiculous at this moment as, as to how I, you know, how, how they're going about things, how, uh, like, like, I don't know, you know, I know that there's other things that are going on with, with this particular spot. And I don't, I don't see how they're neglecting the, the, the facts that are out there that are actually being reported. But not looking for we're going to, we're going to get into all that stuff. It's, it, you know, this is just kind of an update video as to what I had to do in terms of going and surrendering myself to Bergen County and all that stuff and just letting you guys all know out there that I'm doing fine. I just want to check the camera real quick because it usually it does recording. something. So I'm going to restart it and I restarted it. So I just didn't want, I didn't want the camera to die because sometimes like not die, but sometimes it has like an automatic shut off and I don't know if I turned that off this time. So I didn't want to, have to go back and record and Everything usually that's not genuine and or real which is one of the reasons why you guys appreciate us so anyhow so you know that that's the whole jail scenario update and all that stuff but we really wanted to since the last live stream and since the last video dropped we got it we've gotten so many donations and and yeah. kind words from you guys and like i've been telling you guys those are the the, the, the that, that's the best piece of support that we can get are the are the you know the positive words and yeah. the fact that you guys back us and believe us and support us 
that that's the number one thing you know the money is is obviously it's it's greatly appreciated it yeah. helps us out a, a lot it helps us out with with everything that we're going through it yeah. kind of doesn't make us have to worry about it and and the fact that you guys back us like that it gives us even more confidence that we do have you know an arm you know i mean uh, over the last week you've seen in the world that there's obviously strength in numbers you know yeah. what i mean so that's really what we want we want we want a backing we want a, a community of ours a family like i was saying the other day that kind of just backs us up and 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 lets us know that you know we're we're here for you guys yeah. and and we're not alone inside of this and that really that really matters to us that yeah. that definitely makes a, a huge impact on us going through this and and even like i said um you know how we how we really weren't we really didn't have any real traction in the game you know like in uh, for this channel and for our videos and things like that and and it makes me hone back into why i was really doing it in the first place was because you guys were entertained with everything that i yeah. did and you guys always gave me positive comments and things like that and and just the positive comments in this scenario when we really really need them yeah um is 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 very helping it's heartwarming it's all good things and we and we just want you guys to keep on doing those kinds of things you know so and we, we appreciate the paypal donations the everybody that obviously contributes to the live stream donations yeah. everybody that's been signing up for the for the patreon that's it's it's awesome we haven't even said anything about that in forever and yeah. you guys are just going down in the description clicking on that and and helping us out we're going to figure out a little something special that we can give the patreons and 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 we feel that the people that give even in, in PayPal yeah. deserve something as well. So we're going to include everybody that's helped us out throughout this monetarily kind of thing. Um, you know, we're going to give you guys something a little bit extra, you know, maybe some extra content. You, we know that you guys would be into anything that we kind of put together. So, you know, just maybe some, you know, secret content or something like that for you guys, just something special, you know, so yeah. I'm kind of in the works on that. A lot of things have been going on. I'm trying just to get through this court date tomorrow. So I really know, everything's at and then at that point I can kind of be on an even keel yeah. throughout the summer because I can kind of gauge exactly what's going on speak to my lawyer a little bit more because I haven't had the chance to do that now yeah. on the donation thing like with with the live stream like what I really wanted to address was um, <clears throat> obviously your donations that was the biggest thing and, and our thanks and our appreciation and stuff like that but there was something that happened during that live stream that I kind of I regret a little bit. I didn't want to come out in a way that was that was negative on that and I told her that I didn't want to and I kind of let my emotions get the better of me and I don't want anybody to think bad of somebody. Um, you, you guys kind of clued into the fact that I was talking about Josh a little bit in that, in that video and I don't want you guys to think that I personally want you guys to hate Josh and I don't hate Josh. It was just an issue that I had that, that I should have probably just I should have done it privately. I really should have. I, 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 like I said, I regret it. It was a negative thing that came out of me and, and, and such a positive thing that was going on. And I got some comments and things like that, that, you know, Josh didn't donate to you guys. He didn't do that to you, you know, whatever. Josh donated. He, 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 he did. I mean, he, he definitely supported us monetarily, backed us up like that and all that stuff. What I was mad about was that you know, like I said before, there's strength in numbers, you know what I mean? And, and, and what I can do a lot better is, is get a lot more people together to back us up, to get behind petitions or anything like that that I may need. That's not a monetary thing. So it's, it's not really, it's not about the money between me and Josh because he did, he, he definitely did support, you know, yeah. a couple of days later, I was able to go back through the PayPal and see that who, who donated and hit, and he was on there and it was a, very it was a generous amount i mean it was it, it, like that's what i would give to my friend and and i don't think that we're not friends like i don't yeah. think that i don't think that me and him are not i i enjoy his his company i when we're out on the road together it's 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 more than than going to abandoned places because i wouldn't i wouldn't hang out with a guy like that for you know five months out of my life yeah. you know on the road in and out of hotels you know just bullshit i mean there's there's maybe three hours out of the day where we're actually exploring and doing youtube type stuff and all that you know kind of thing so i you know i i do want you guys to know that i don't want you guys you know to unsubscribe from, to, to him based on anything that i said if you guys have a problem with him i want you guys to have that 
on your own, but I, I choose for you guys not to have a problem with, yeah. with him or anybody for that matter, you know what I mean? But I, especially him because he is my friend. He did contribute just like a lot of people out there did. And, and it was just an issue that I wish I would have probably, um, <clears throat> probably just not let my emotions get the better of me at that, at that point and, and just spoken to him later on down the line. Um, and I, and I will, I have reached out to him. I thanked him. Definitely, I don't know if he's read my messages yet or anything like that. We're kind of just going through some shit, you know what I mean? And, but it's 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 on a friendly thing. If I did not care about him, I would have never wrote. I would have. There were a lot of people that were not addressed that and and that 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 I had a problem with or I have problems with and stuff like that, and and they were not addressed because I don't care about those people. Yeah. You know, I, they're not. I don't. I don't consider them my friends. We don't consider them our friend. We wouldn't have them at our home. Like we do, you know, some other people, Max, Josh, or, you know, Jose, when he comes out to New yeah. York, Impy, when they're, and any, anybody that you guys really kind of see on the channel, um, you know, I, I consider my friends, you know yeah. what I mean? A lot of times, you know, the, you know, other people kind of get mixed up in there, but when you see consistency and who's coming onto the channel, those are my friends. And, and Josh is a friend of mine as, as well as everybody else. So, you know, I, I just wish there was... It's, it's, it's probably, it, 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 like I said, I took it in a negative way. There are things I don't n not believe everything that I said. I, I just wish that I would have handled it differently. You guys were asking and talking a lot about him. I just wanted to clear the air as far as that went and, and update you on that kind of scenario. You know what I mean? So, so if there was any confusion there, I'm sorry about that guys. Um, so I don't, I don't hate anybody i don't hate anybody yeah. so that, that that's that's my biggest thing right now and that's that's what she's taught me in life is just to not even hate anybody if there's a problem just kind of avoid it get on with your life and and that's probably been the secret to my success is that i can ignore things like that but when it does have to do with a friend i kind of do have to address that and i do get emotional so without any more of you guys time you know that that was the update like we, like we said we thank you guys for for being there even even watching this video right yeah. now this is an, an exploration video it has to do with an exploration it has to do with something that's going to be coming up down the line so I, you know i thank you that you're interested for that fact um you know and 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 i i, I just thank you guys for all being there you know yeah um i'm thanking you guys every single day on twitter so if you're not on our twitter following that go check out our twitter go check out the ig because we're gonna have a lot more pics we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get out this weekend. I may not. It might be next weekend when I get out with Unheard. Um, I'm trying to coordinate some stuff with that. If we don't, if I don't get out with Unheard this week, then we will be out doing something, hiking. We're gonna get her out and yeah. and she's, she's bored inside the house. We're very boring people when we're inside <laughs> in New York unless we're going out exploring or doing something like yeah. that because like this is where this is where we just kind of chill out. So yeah. um, we will be doing something and you guys will be seeing something besides arrest videos and jail <laughs> videos and sub videos and things like that, even though you will see a lot more of those sub videos. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being there for us. Check us out on all the other social media that I said. And peace. Peace. Say peace. No? She passed out. You're the girl.